Hey guys, welcome back. I have a very exciting DIY to share with you for you guys who are at home and maybe <laughs> It's just overcome with all the bugs that are in around the area, especially if you're going into summer or if you've just come from summer and going into winter and you're just getting all the bugs coming over. I know I am, especially over where my compost and stuff is when I'm gardening. I'm getting inundated by mosquitoes and I'm like, I need something to stop this. So I've come up with a little bug spray recipe that I've been looking online and combining a few different recipes to make the ultimate bug spray recipe. So the a few recipes I borrowed them from were DIY Natural and Wellness Mama. So I will link them in the description below for you guys to check out if you like. So it's a really simple and homemade recipe. Basically all you need to do is get grab your essential oils, grab a bit of vodka and grab some water and you're good to go. So what I really love about this recipe is that it's completely natural. So you know how normal bug sprays, AeroGuard, insect repellents have a lot of chemicals in them? While they may work, they're not great for your body, especially because your skin is an organ and it just absorbs anything that's on it. So what you're spraying onto your skin is ultimately ending up in your body and that's just to a big toxic load that you don't need. It's very unnecessary, especially when you can make your own one right at home with essential oils that are very beneficial for you, have many beneficial properties and work just as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what you're going to need is about a total of 100 drops of essential oils, but I've combined a few different ones to make this recipe today. So I think I'm going to use about 120, probably a bit more than usual, but you don't have to use all the essential oils. You can combine a few different ones and see what works for you. So we're going to start off with so 20 drops of tea tree oil, 20 drops of lavender essential oil. It's going to smell fabulous. I love lavender. It's probably my ultimate favorite herb. I want to actually get to around to making my own essential oils in future. So at the moment I'm in the beginning stages of just growing the herbs. Then I want to turn the herbs into essential oils, which I will share in future videos once I've nailed it. And that'd be so exciting. So it's so much money and I have essential oil supply just right out my door. It'd be so awesome. Getting back to the recipe. You're also going to need 30 drops of citronella. Now this is a big bug killing hit. This in itself, I was talking to the lady at the health food store where I got it from and she said it's well known for its bug repelling properties. So this is a fantastic essential oil to use, citronella. Geranium is another one. We're going to need 30 drops of that as well. You're going to need 20 drops of lemon essential oil and also 20 drops of eucalyptus essential oil. Eucalyptus essential oil is wonderful for repelling bugs. I know it's very potent, very strong. I know eucalyptus, if you keep it in your house, it actually repels spiders. So if you guys have spiders at home, a natural way to keep them out of your house if you don't want them is to use eucalyptus oil. So I've learnt that as like one of the reasons why I know it's a great bug repellent because it repels spiders naturally. So there you go, fun fact. And to finally kick off the essential oil hit we're using in this recipe, just looking for it, out of all these essential oils, you're going to need 10 drops of rosemary essential oil. And then that's pretty basically it. You're done with the essential oils. You can also use clove essential oil, lemongrass essential oil, kaju put, kaju put essential oil. I'll make sure to write that down because I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that right. Mint, catnip or cedar essential oil as well. So there are other ones you can use to repel bugs if you have those at home as well. But moving on to the next step of the recipe, you're also going to need one tablespoon of pure vodka or rubbing alcohol. So it's up to you. I'm using pure vodka today because there's no rubbing alcohol left at the store and I've run out of my supply. I'm just waiting on my order to come through. So either one will do well. It's just to preserve the spray and helps keep the essential oils from uh, distilling away. It keeps them there for longer. Then you're also going to need half a cup of natural witch hazel. It's great for people who are making like disinfecting things. So witch hazel is great for that. It's also wonderful for your skin. So this is also great to use in many different other DIYs, which I'll share in future. And then finally, you're going to need half a cup of water. So I'm using filtered water today because it just filters out any chemicals and things that may be in our water supply. So it's just a little bit better. And as an optional ingredient, you can use one teaspoon of vegetable glycerin and that just helps keep the ingredients combined in the solution. But it is optional and I don't have any with me. I'm still waiting on the order to come through. So I'm not going to use that today. But if you guys will have that and you want to use it, it's great to keep the ingredients together otherwise all you need to do every time you're going to use it is just shake it so the com ingredients combine and they're not separated so you shake it every time you're about to use it and just spray it on and it's good to go now basically to make it we're just going to pop everything into the bowl mix it through and then pop it into our little spray bottle right here so yeah let's get making that together my papaya for later Boom. so i'm just going to combine all my ingredients in the bowl but you can just combine them in the spray bottle if you want to. I just find it's easier to mix and 
easier to get all the ingredients in the bowl first and then use a funnel to pour it in. But it's up to you. You can pour it straight into the bottle or do what I'm doing and pour it into the bowl. But first off, we're just going to combine all the essential oils first in the bowl. So first tea tree, then lemon, then eucalyptus, then geranium. Next we have rosemary, then lavender, my favourite. And then finally we have citronella. Ooh, that's nice. Now we're gonna add in the vodka and just stir it well to combine. And then we'll add the witch hazel. Whoop. And that'll do. Done, now we're gonna pour in the witch hazel. Mm. Witch hazel. Half a cup of water. You can also add in vinegar if you don't want to use water. So it's up to you, you can use vinegar or water. And we're gonna stir this again to combine, but I'm gonna stir it really carefully because I don't want it to spill. <laughs> I should have got a bigger bowl. And now, if you're using vegetable glycerin, you'd add it in now and again, stir it to combine, but I'm not gonna use that today. So I'm just gonna pour it straight into the bottle, shake it up, and it's ready to go. I'm gonna pour it into my little pourer, and I think that will be better, rather than pouring it from the bowl. So that's just gonna end up everywhere. So I have some left over, so I'm going to pour that into another spray bottle. And then once you're done, pop the lid back on. Oh, it smells so good. It smells amazing. And there you have it. Your easy bug spray, all ready to go, all natural. So every time you want to use it, just remember to shake it up. Whoop. Make sure the lid's on. Shake it up really well so that all the ingredients inside are combined. As you can see. And then all you need to do, spray it on as you would and rub that in. And you're gonna smell incredible as well. It smells so good. Oh, rub that all on me. Woo, it smells great. And a great spot to put it is just outside near your back door or wherever you find that bugs are most prominent. And you keep it there and all you do is as you go outside, spray it on and you're ready to go. Face those bugs. And there you have it, your perfect DIY or natural bug spray all ready to go. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, be sure to subscribe down below in the corner to join our fam, our community on YouTube. It'd be awesome to have you on board. We'd love it. Today's giant shout out goes to the Afro Food Diary. Thank you so much for commenting on my cough syrup DIY video. I'm so glad you liked it. It was awesome that you shared some awesome other ingredients to use that you find helpful for helping to remedy coughs and sore throats. So thank you so much. I so grateful for all of you watching commenting subscribing liking my videos it means so so much thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed today's video and i hope to see you in my future videos bye